Hey, good morning, good morning, guys and ladies. How are you doing today? We are just trying to get out of Calgary right now. Uh, we uh, just finished doing our delivery here in Calgary. And uh, yeah, it was still kind of dark when I uh, went over to the customer. And it's still a little bit dark, but I figure I got to start my video. That's right. Yeah, this is where uh, we have a few truck stops in this area up here, I guess. And uh, But I, f I stayed further south at that Flying J, right? <clears throat> now I got to figure out exactly how am I uh, going to get to where I got to go, right? I got to try and get out of Calgary here and trying to get back onto Highway 1 to try and uh, go west, right? So now we're going to go into, uh, you know, once we get out of here. And uh, I think it's about an hour, hour and a half, and we'll be in the mountains, Rocky Mountains. Yeah, are you guys looking forward to that? I certainly am. I certainly am looking forward to doing that, showing you guys that. It's been a very, very long time that I've been out there. Now, I just hope it won't be too much snow out there. I mean, like this, it's okay, right? We got light flurries up here. Nothing too crazy serious. So this part is all right, but hopefully they treat the roads good up there too and uh, we can uh, have a safe journey through there. I think today is the day when it actually is supposed to be snowing up there by Golden. I know uh, tomorrow I don't think it's supposed to do too much, so hopefully, uh, hopefully it isn't doing too much today either, but find out to go south I guess to go to not sure do we gotta be yeah I think we gotta be in this lane up here because I gotta go to the uh take the entrance yeah, to the this left is, this on is it. trail highway two we gotta turn left up here I wasn't a hundred percent sure because I haven't been out here in such a long time right Sometimes the GPS tricks you a little bit too, right? Because it may say turn here, but it isn't 500 feet or whatever, right? So sometimes it confuses you a little bit. But anyways, I'm just hoping it won't be... I was kind of hoping I would get a little bit of a clear patch here and there. So that way I can possibly fly my drone up there in the mountains. That would be neat. If not today, ho on my way down there, hopefully on my way back, right? That would be sweet if I could do that, right? Anyways, let's get out of Calgary and we'll show you as much as we can today, guys. All right, guys, we made us a little bit of a uh, pit stop here and this is the Banff area. Let me see if I can show you guys. Look at that. We got huge mountains right up there. It's kind of sad that it is snowing like it is, but it is what it is, right? And we got like a lake right there and uh yeah between the mountains here so i you know we got this little pullover area up here so i decided to go ahead and pull me over into this uh pullover and guess what i'm getting ready to do having me a couple of sandwiches like that so let's go ahead and have sandwich have me a little bit of a break and then continue on with my journey here we go guys it is time to hit the road again we uh finished our sandwiches now we gotta go. We got a little ways to go yet. Come on, four wheeler, move over. You're not paying attention, see? Instead of moving over, there's nobody coming. No, he wouldn't give away from me, but oh well. That's how some people are, but anyways. We are now in the Banff area, which is a fairly big travel or tourist attraction I guess I should say and we do have some decent sized hills up here already I mean they're not like super super big but they are fairly decent already I don't think we're quite exactly in Banff, Banff yet but we're just on the outskirt 
of Banff, that's for sure. These are definitely massive, massive mountains. And it almost feels like it's starting to light up a little bit with the with the snowing, so that's gonna be nice. Cause we have a lot of these like pullover areas like this right here. Where you can pull over and you can uh like uh take pictures, video, take a little break from driving I guess and all that fun stuff but yeah it's been a good while since we've been up in this area and it can be dangerous and just to remind you the road that we're going to be traveling on is the same road that they uh, videotaped that uh, highway through hell show you know you guys know that right this is the same highway that we're going to be traveling I mean, it's not being videoed here, it's further down the road, but still, it's it's the same highway, right? Anyhow, let's continue on and see if we can make it all the way to Langley tonight. All right, guys, we are here at a rest area. Not really a rest area, I said that wrong. This is actually a brake check. This bison here to the left, he came in hot into this area and it's quite slippery. And he rear-ended this truck right of right ahead of him here this logging truck and as you guys could see right here everything is wet that's because he Continue had hit that road. guy so hard kilometers. that uh, he pushed his rad in completely and lost all of his antifreeze so yeah you got to be careful Steve coming down, into right these ahead. uh pullover areas you know it's slippery out here it really is I mean it's been winter for how long now and uh, guys are coming in too hot and then he wasn't able to come to a complete stop soon enough and rear-ended the other guy so now he's gonna have a real bad day trying to explain that to his boss and I know bison they're really picky too so He's going to be in the hot water, that's for sure. And the reason why that is a brake check area is because they got a... We're pretty high right now, so we're going to be going downhill here. And you need to check your brakes, right? Which we already done, but... Anyways... He's not going to be a happy camper, I tell you. He hit that guy so hard that literally pushed a his rad and the radiator and everything back didn't look that much damage from the outside but when you took a closer look at it you could see his whole radiator was pushed in quite a bit so yeah just another tip out here you know you gotta drive according to weather conditions right you gotta be super super careful when you go down these hills or come into an area like that especially since you can see they've gotten quite a bit of snow up here right well by all you know when it's snowing all these trucks are still pulling in they're checking their brakes right so the snow gets packed pretty solid in those areas well that creates a cheat of ice so yeah when you're out here in the mountains you gotta respect nature and respect the, the weather conditions right but yeah, we are finally not getting really too much snow anymore. Pretty much all the snow is gone. Yeah, which that's nice. It really is. This is a fairly long downhill. I've been down this before, so I kind of know what to expect, right? But in the meanwhile, let's continue on cruising along here, guys. Here we go, guys. We're coming into the golden area and uh they have some fairly sharp terms of turns up here i guess they got 80 speed limit up here so speed warning. oh yes we better slow her down <laughs> gps says 50. that's baloney i just saw the sign right there it's at 80 so yep we got some pretty tight turns coming up here in a little bit the sign even said 
and the next 14 kilometers is where we're going to run into all these super sharp turns so that's all right just obey the speed limit and you'll be fine right but i thought this kind of looks kind of neat going uh going through this area so why not turn on the cameras right sometimes you may even see elk on the edge of the mountains up here I've seen them here in the past and on that side is on the left side is a probably a couple of hundred feet drop-off straight drop-off they're just about so you definitely don't want to mess with this area that's for sure they are coming up on one of these sharp turns it's a uh, 40 kilometer an hour turn so you definitely don't want to be doing more than that so we're going to go ahead and slow her down to 40 so this way we don't get ourselves into trouble right that's the plan anyways and I just saw a pullover area there on my way back that might be a good area to pull over hopefully tomorrow we have better light better sunshine and take a picture that way over the mountains there with that deep valley there that would look pretty neat I think I think so anyways but yeah so we are only very short distance away from getting to golden but look at these sharp turns you're literally driving on the edge of the on the edge of the mountain up here that's for sure ah looks like our golden scale up here is open this one is in the middle and it almost always seems to be open in oh, and it's no difference to today Highway. Highway one. so we'll see what these guys have to say but I should be all right in all reality a little little bumpy here trying to get to it but yeah we'll get to it here middle scale right here this is how we go to it I know this one is almost always open continue on this road for 220 yep, kilometers because it's one of the not only scale but very rare scales along this highway right there is another one up there by cam loops they have one on either side of the highway but further this way there ain't none right so i guess this is uh, uh an important checkpoint for them right so let's go through here i might be quiet for a little bit sometimes they like to pull you in sometimes not i've been pulled in here once before so let's see what they got to say he's sitting right there he's actually on the phone so let's just slow her down a little bit more well he's sitting there on yapping away on the phone trying to proceed take it to the easy it says proceed oh it says stop all right I guess he just wanted to check the brake lights. And I guess that's what he wanted to check for. Continue on this road. Just for to see if uh, kilometers. I guess to see if my brake lights would work. And I did check that, they do work, so here we go. Now we're good to go. So that's hammer down and continue on cruising along there. We got six hundred and uh, 54 kilometers to go till we get to our terminal. We uh, turn this light on as well so you guys can see me a little bit better. I just like to have it off whenever I'm going through a scale because it kind of, you know, it could be considered distracted or I don't know. Like it, it makes it more obvious that you're recording or whatever, right? So it might pique their interest right so that's kind of why i always turn it off when i go through a scale but anyways highway one west is open well that's good news <laughs> that's the way we like to keep it too right so that way we can go all the way to our customer and 
I don't know if I told you uh, you guys yet. I don't think I did. I already got me a reload offer too. And I'll be uh, doing a trailer switch at the terminal tomorrow after I deliver this load. And then that load brings me all the way back to Winnipeg. That is fantastic news. I love that. You almost never get that kind of load. So I am super excited to get that load. Hopefully they won't be changing their mind. I really hope not. But in the meanwhile, let's hammer down. Time to put her in gear and go again, guys. <sighs> yeah, look at this guy up here to the right. I mean to the left. He literally pulled in here. As you guys saw, he came into camera, right? And he just basically barely came to a stop. And he's going again. Like, come on, guys. <clears throat> I see this every time I come up here to British Columbia. These guys don't check their brakes. They don't even get out of their truck. I don't know how you even have time to mark it in your logbook. Like, you're supposed to also mark it in your logbook, right? And so, like with us, we have electronic logs. I'm sure these guys have too. And, you know, like... <laughs> that is not good. If the DOT was to look at that logbook, he's going to see a barely line there. It's like, he didn't, he wasn't even on duty 20 seconds. And he was leaving again, right? There's no way he could have... You know, gotten out and checked all those brakes, the DOT is going to say, right? But anyways, that was another brake check there. We have five of them going uh, to Vancouver. And three of them come back, coming back. So uh, we just uh, went through three of them already. I don't think I showed you the other one. But we've been through three of them already. So we got two more to go. Yeah, that's right. I really do but anyways I just figured I would show you guys that a little bit on how guys you know break the law every single day and then you wonder why do we have so many accidents out here right especially out here on this highway up here you know coca-cola yeah I went through hell that's where this show gets videotaped in the meanwhile, they do have gotten quite a bit of snow up here. As you guys can see on these trees, that looks gorgeous. I like that. It's beautiful to look at. And I'm really happy that we haven't gotten too much snow either. That's really, really nice. Very, very happy about that. I'm telling you guys. I hope it's going to be the same tomorrow coming back. It's just wet roads, that's all it is, and I hope it stays that way. Isn't this a gorgeous, gorgeous view, ladies and gentlemen? Looking over towards the right, we got still visible water. I know my windshield is a little bit dirty from all the soot on the road here, but having to constantly clean it, right? But in my opinion, they should have already a lot more snow than they do, so... And the lake is not even frozen. So that's an indication that either they didn't get that much snow this year yet, or it's just been melting, right? That's another possibility, but anyways, I thought it was a pretty neat view there, so I figured I would show you guys that. Since it might be a good while before we get to go through here again, right? Because I've been through here where there was a lot more snow up in this area. This is one of the areas, yeah, up here in the mountains you generally get a ton of snow. I mean, don't get me wrong, they got a decent amount, but I've seen it where they have gotten way more than what they have right here. But anyhow, let's continue on cruising along here. I have now made it to Langley or Surrey, BC, I guess I could say, because I went to Langley first to the customer and they have a gate <clears throat> in front of their property there so uh, I couldn't uh, park there so I said all right well my second option was uh, go to our terminal right so that's exactly what I did and man does it uh, 
Has it ever changed up here at this terminal? Man, there never used to be a shop over there. Fortunately, it's all dark out here, so I can't really show you guys, but man, it has changed in this uh, in this Surrey yard here. That is for sure. I mean, uh, buildings are going up left and right. I mean, I was here probably a little over a year ago. None of that was there, right? So now all of a sudden we got a big shop, like a truck repair shop there and all that stuff never used to be there, right? But anyways, we made it. We made it. Cross on our fingers, we made it. So let's go ahead and get out of here and uh, come back tomorrow and see what we're up to. So thank you very much for watching. We'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody.